invasive tree that was taking over Utah's riverbanks might finally be meeting its match in the form of a tiny beetle. Yes, yeah, scientists continue to watch this closely. New specialist Alex Cabrero explains why it's being done and how it's paying off along the Colorado River near Moab. For as popular as hiking is in the Moab area, this stretch next to the Colorado River was nearly impossible to walk through for decades. You could really get cut up uh, trying to crawl through. Much of a whole brain. Tim Graham knows this about as well as anyone, having dealt with tamarisk plants nearly his whole career. When I first um, came out here, the banks of the, of the rivers were solid tamarisk. You, you didn't want to go through them. Those tamarisk trees were introduced to the West in the 1800s to help with erosion. It worked, but too well. You can see they're dominating that stretch. They grew aggressively, eventually choking the banks, changing the river's natural flow, and pushing out native plants. The backwaters don't form, and the native fish that, that rely on those backwaters as nurseries um, can't survive. Which is where the tamarisk beetle comes in. There's three or four live ones in there. Graham is a retired insect ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey's biology division and knows a lot about this beetle. They were introduced in Grand County in 2004 with one mission, eat the tamarisk. The beetle uses an aggregation pheromone, sends out chemicals that cause other beetles to come. So then you get more beetles feeding on fewer trees and they can kind of swamp the, the defenses of the tree. Since then, the beetle has spread rapidly. Graham spent years monitoring 60 trees along the river, tracking beetle activity and foliage loss. It worked, but created other issues, such as with a desert bird known as the southwestern willow flycatcher. Well, the beetles moved in, is defoliating the trees, and the flycatcher is having a harder time rearing its young now because its nests are more exposed. Graham admits it is a tough balance, but the beetle has proven to be a success story when looking at tamarisk control. It leaves the native plants alone, allowing them to grow, restoring the natural balance. However, Graham says that will take decades. It's starting to come back a little bit. But it's a start. Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. Nice, Alex.